Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome back to our free to play account in Last Dead Earth Survival. So, season 21 has started, and check this out on level 4, we can get this free tactical backpack. And that's what we're gonna be doing today because I'm never gonna say no to our free tactical backpack. Look at this on level 8 in this season pass, we can get 10 grenades. And obviously, there are some other goodies such as those energy drinks. You can also get a full SWAT set. And hey, going further here on level 26, you can get this gas cylinder, which is a really great value. This video is brought to you by LD Player. If you're interested in playing Last of Earth Survival or many other mobile games on your computer, then consider checking out LD Player Emulator. It's lightweight and fast Android emulator for your PC where you can play mobile games with a mouse and keyboard. It supports multiple accounts simultaneously. So you can play Last of Earth Survival and other mobile games at the same time. You can download it from the official site and the link is available down in the description. And we have a perfect event now to progress through all of this because check this out, when we go to the calendar, we have this weekend's rush at the farm location. So with katanas, we can do 50% more damage. We can get these marks of excellence points. And at the same time, by killing enemies, we're gonna get points to this season pass. And on top of that, we're gonna get points to this supply crate. So technically we should be able to rack up a bunch of loot today. And now welcome here to this farm location. So we have to do 1000 damage with our katana. And luckily I had only one katana at the base. So you know what, let's start using Using it, let's get 1000 damage. And after this katana breaks, I'm gonna start using different melee weapons or even guns that are brought here because, as I said, it's kind of easy to get guns, but it's a bit harder to get healing items. So, in case if there are gonna be some raiders attacking us, I am gonna use my guns instead of melee weapons to save my healing items. And also, here we go in front of us, we have the savage giant, which we could probably wall trick and kill him with a wall trick. I just want to show for you how- No, I got hit in the face! Here goes me saving my healing items. But hey, check this out, peeps. You can go and fight the savage giant with a wall trick, just in case. No, it's going to be kind of tough. I'm, I'm going to let him come a bit, a bit closer. It's kind of tricky as you can accidentally aggro the zombie from the very top. As you can see over here on the minimap, there is another zombie there. So maybe we can aggro it by accident. So I'm just trying to be very careful. But hey, check this out. You can fight the savage giant, except, hey, we need to use my katana. To get 1,000 damage. So let's wall check that guy with the katana. We've also just gotten some more points. So check this out. We are already at 29 points out of 150. Then we'll be able to level up and we will get our shotgun. And also these points are going to the supply crate as I have already mentioned. So let's go to the top. Let's deal with this rotten yoko. We can also probably wall trick these rotten yokos and other zombies. They're a bit harder to wall trick as they're a bit more unstable. Sometimes they just, uh, they're going to avoid the wall. And they'll just run through the wall, but hey. Already I've found a bunch of those other schmucks spawning! Okay, that's not cool. I am going to reset everything. There's no need to fight all of them. So we're just gonna leave this area and all of them are gonna go back to their places. And just in case if you didn't know, those zombies that spawn out of the haystack, they just despawn at all if you're gonna leave that location. So I don't have a slightest clue where can I find that blue box. Maybe the blue box is gonna be here on the left side. Hopefully it's not here. I mean... It all right, so the blue box might be here. Okay, so the blue box isn't there. I saw there was just a simple sack. So, hey, the blue box is not there. Let's go here to another side and let's find our blue box. Obviously, it would be better to find these simple rotten yokels here right now before we open up that blue box. And that's what we might do. But hey, I just want to locate the blue box first and then we'll deal with the rest of these enemies. Will the savage giant see me as the savage giant just saw me and all these other zombies see me as well? Oh my goodness. What if I hide here behind the wall? What if I get this weapon? And what if I just try to shoot them a little bit with this Uzi? Okay, it might be normal. Also, we are losing our armor, but that's not big of a deal as I did bring another armor with me. So it is all fine. Again, some might think that we are just wasting guns here. But as I said, I'd rather save my healing items than guns. As you can always just do bunker alpha and get guns. But in order to get healing items, you have to go and farm grass. You have to pick up seeds to grow carrots. So it's more time consuming than getting guns. And obviously, I've re-entered the location once again to reset all the position of these enemies. I think we're gonna get this skull crusher. I think we should be. No, I couldn't even do that decent damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Another savage giant. You know what? Before I fight them, I just. Oh, stop punching me! Before we go there, okay, so that's not where we get that blue box. So we don't have to fight these savage giants. We just have to leave this location again. So hey, let's go. <laughs> let's leave this location. All right, so I think it's time for us to move forward. Maybe we're gonna find that blue box somewhere else. We've done even more damage with the katana. We are at 818 damage. I'm gonna get here another Uzi. We can deal with the savage giant, obviously, with the wall trick that I've already shown. 
Or we can just pop the Savage Iron with an Uzi. <laughs> that's what we're gonna be doing here right now. Which again, maybe that's not the smartest thing. I still got punched because Uzi's missing a lot. You know what? I should have just wall tricked him. I got here to this place anyway. Should have just wall tricked him. Well, in any case, let's go here to the left side. And once again, I see pile of these schmucks. And where is the blue box? Is the blue box there? Okay, it's gonna be hard to see it. It's gonna be hard to see that blue box. Please tell me the blue box. Okay, the blue box isn't there. Yikes, we have to leave this area again. Look at all these schmucks. Look at all these rotten yokels chasing me. Disgusting. But I'm pretty certain there are other yokels that have only 80 health and we don't really have to fight them. So let's re-enter this location again. That's what farm location is. Just leaving and coming back to this farm location constantly. All right, so let's get ready to fight the Revenger. Check this out. The bad boy's over here. He has 2,000 health. We have our katana. So by fighting this Revenger, we will get five of those marks of excellence points. Because we will get 1,000 damage. Check this out. We've gotten 1,000 damage with this katana. And now I can continue fighting this guy. Which I'm thinking that maybe I should be saving this katana for more enemies rather than this revenger. Because you can fight this revenger literally with fists. You don't really have to output lots of damage per second. But you know what? We have this katana. And I might as well just use it on him. Our armor doesn't even have lots of durability. So just in case if this revenger is going to spit on us, everything's going to be fine. We have a spare armor. All right. Couple of more attacks. And that's it. We have dealt with revenger. We've also gotten 150 points. And check this out. We are already almost at level three, just a bit more. And we're going to get this free tactical backpack. And from the Revenger, we've gotten 10 pieces of cloth. So let's quickly craft a few bandages. Check this out. We're going to craft two bandages over here. I'm going to go to the very top. All right. So we are here at the very top. We still did not find that blue box, but we're going to find it. I'm pretty certain it's there on the top right corner. It's not really in the corner, but it's in the top right section of this map. So we are going to pick that thing up. But hey, first of all, let's deal with some of these right yokels. Cargo Valley has increased. Okay, I'm curious what kind of things we can get from the cargo valley on the orange level okay a katana which isn't bad isn't too shabby all right we're gonna attack this guy oh no i couldn't even sneak attack it mistakes were made well let's attack like this let's get this uzi as i'll have to fight that savage giant soon anyways i'm probably gonna use this uzi because i've also taken a shotgun with me and i'm gonna use that shotgun for when i open up that box once we kind of open that blue box then i'm gonna whip out the shotgun because this uzi does miss a lot so i don't think it's gonna be very useful <laughs> while fighting bunch of zombies at the same time and sadly that's it we ran out of katanas so i'll have to use this pipe now which again isn't that bad pipe is all right but again pipe doesn't do 43 damage as katana would do here right now with that 50% bonus. Also, we did not get a poppy in this house because sometimes you can get poppies here. And also, for those who don't know, like a farm location is probably the best place to get poppies in the game. As you can get one or two poppies here. Also, we've just opened up the door. Is it because we have the burglar perk? I think this might be the first time when I'm looting this location. All right, let's go. Let's break the Uzi here. And I think here we can wall trick that savage giant. Let's quickly heal up. Let's get this crowbar. I'm gonna let this savage giant come a bit closer. And here we go. We can wall check the bad boy. That I'm gonna ba hop back in the farm location. Maybe. Not in the farm location, but to that farmhouse. For some reason, I don't hear the punch of the savage giant. I don't understand. It's very weird. Well, I'm gonna be. Here we go. Here we go. That's another punch. Once again. Here we go. So I'm gonna voice over these punches. Boom, here we go. The Savage Giant's dead. We've also leveled up. And I like leveling up. Let's go here. Let's select a skill. And we can probably get a Lumberjack. Yeah, whatever. Let's get that Lumberjack park. And now let's loot two of these chests. So we're going to loot a closet. Sometimes here you can get good stuff. You can even get some nice blueprints. But this time we've gotten a red ticket plus a crowbar. We've also gotten a beanie and some new pants. Hmm, that's epic. I'm going to just drop my old armor here because I don't think I need it. Let's also loot the cupboard or whatever that is. A nightstand. And here we've gotten a free first aid kit. I think we're going to also bring that battery back to the base and those five bolts. We also have to kill five bulls, but this farm location only has three bulls. And this farm location event is going to last only for what for one extra day so yeah it's going to last only for one extra day so there's no way i'll be able to kill five bulls at the farm here this time so that is a bit sad so smash the like button on the video if you think it's sad and we won't be able to kill five bulls but hey, i'm gonna get a shotgun now and i'm quite certain that's where we will get the blue box it's gotta be here here but there's the blue box let's go let's start fighting those fast biters one of them is almost dead why do they have so much health i don't get it I don't understand any of that. All right, and it looks like we will get those two Savage Giants. So maybe I'm going to try to kill at least one Savage Giant with this shotgun. 
and then I'll wall check another Savage Giant, maybe. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a viable solution because, again, I don't really want to waste all of my weapons here at the farm location. Like, we do have enough weapons. We can always get more weapons for a Bunker Alpha, but occasionally I'll try to save a weapon or two. So I'm gonna let this Savage Giant come a bit closer and let's go. Let's try to wall check this guy over here. And there's also one more thing that I'd like to do before I open up that blue box is to deal with the zombies here on the left side. As you saw yourself, there were a bunch of Savage Giants and there were a bunch of simple zombies and they'll be pretty hard to deal with. After I open up that blue box, so there'll be a bunch of zombies attacking me at the same time. So I'd rather probably go and fight them now. Didn't mean to waste that first aid kit. All right, let's get back here. All right, so probably some of them are gonna chase us now. No way, no way. Where did these guys come from? These stupid run yokels. All right, at least I have some SWAT armor to neglect some damage. All right, I'm gonna heal up right now. Go and use your shotgun, mate. Use it, use it, use it, use it. We're gonna deal with all of these rotten yokels. Maybe these rotten, like three rotten yokels that have attacked us. Maybe they would despawn if we had just left this place, but hey, it doesn't matter. Here, we dealt with all of them. Let's re-enter this location once again. And check this out on the first glance. It looks like we have gotten a chopper event, but boom, it's a junkyard event. And for those who don't know, to get to this junkyard event, you have to have a chopper and your chopper has to be level 40 and you can upgrade your chopper at the gas station. And again, the junkyard event isn't amazing. All you can get there is some car batteries, maybe some other very basic items for your ATV. But hey, some people do like to recycle those car batteries from the junkyard event. Then you can get some lead plates. And just in case, if you do not know, those lead plates look something like this. And with those lead plates, you can assemble a terminal at Bunker Bravo that will allow you to get an extra second gas cylinder from the fourth floor at that bunker bravo but again you need to recycle a bunch of and a bunch of those car batteries but hey that's one of the strats that people are using and this way you won't have to clear that bunker bravo 30 times if you want to get those 30 gas cylinders you'll have to clear it only 15 times if you get enough of those lead plates and i think you need like 10 15 or maybe even 20 lead plates like i'm 90 percent certain that you need 20 lead plates to assemble that special terminal at bunker bravo and people keep asking me at what level they should start doing bunker bravo and even if they should be doing bunker bravo so my answer to that is that it depends if you want to assemble your ATV you will have to oh, 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 oh there's the savage giant so if you want to assemble your ATV you will have to do bunker bravo but if you don't want your ATV then doing bunker bravo is completely pointless and obviously you need to have oh my goodness and obviously you need to have fully modded weapons you need to have common mods for your m16 you need to have some nice mods for your ak again those mods can be common and each floor will require seven to eight guns to clear at least one floor so you gotta be fully prepared. So if you wanted to bunker Bravo, you need to be fully prepared. You need to have mods, you need to have a bunch of guns. And once you have all of this, and once you want to assemble your ATV, then yeah, you should do it. But if you don't have enough items, then just don't waste your resources trying to do bunker Bravo. It's gonna be impossible. All right, my gun broke. You gotta be kidding me. Holy moly, how on earth am I gonna fight all of these guys? I did not expect this. Oh no, there's also a bull chasing me. Dude, look at all of these rotten yokels. We've already killed like so many rotten yokels here and there's still a bunch of them chasing us. Can I hide here behind the wall? Nope, couldn't even do that. So probably I'll either have to get back to the base to get more guns or maybe we can take out a gun from the inbox because I'm pretty certain we have some weapons from the season pass in the inbox. So let's go to our inbox and check this out. We've gotten another shotgun and we have one more Glock. But I think that one shotgun should be enough. Maybe I should have be taking that Glock, but it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the farm location and let's open up that blue box. And maybe here at first glance, it looks like that farm location isn't really efficient. You can't really profit from it. And I mean, that's kind of the case. It's kind of hard to profit from this farm location, but you can get here some melee mods and melee mods are kind of useful. So yeah, we can maybe also get some melee mods. And hey, here I'm gonna get three animal rawhides. Let's take that. Let's also get this aluminum bar. And you know what? I'm gonna get the coal as well. So I think that these sacks are kind of underappreciated. You don't always get here some nice loot, but occasionally you can get here a bunch of rawhides. I think once I saw seven or maybe eight rawhides in one spot which is really nice. Check this out. We can get here extra two rawhides. We can get some planks back to the base and this aluminum plate, whatever. Let's get it. We also have this copper ore, but you know what? I'm never going to smelt it. So I'm not even going to clutter my inventory with that copper ore. And hey, before we open up that blue box, I want to loot here one more of those sacks. And there's got to be one. Oh no, let's say this is, this is the last sack here. Here we go. This is the third sack in the farm location. And here we have gotten more coal, some ash logs, which are kind of coolish. I mean, I can take it, but I don't have space. 
I don't have space to bring all of this back to the base. Plus, we're gonna open up the thing with us, like that blue box. So I have to drop things that I don't need right now. All right, so somehow, some way, I sorted out my inventory. I dropped things that I don't really need. I dropped like that hat and those pants because we do have enough of those items at the base. And again, I do know that we could just run back to the base and drop those items there. But hey, if I don't need them on this free-to-play account, then maybe I don't need them. Oh, wow, look at all of the zombies. Look at all of these schmucks. Wish I had a spreadsheet here right now, but I don't. This armor is gonna get destroyed, and you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice that. I'm gonna sacrifice this armor for the good of my first aid kits. All righty, done. We are at 48 health. Okay, gonna be still getting some more damage as uh, the first aid kit can restore 100 health. We can still go probably a little bit lower. All right, one more hit. That's it. Here we can heal out with that first aid kit. And hey, hopefully there are no more fast zombies. Okay, it looks like there are only savage giants and these two rotten yokels. So, I mean, that should be pretty easy peasy. Let's go. Let's use the shotgun to deal with these rotten yokels. And yeah, this was a pretty tough farm location. Sometimes they're a bit easier. You're not going to get that many zombies in every farm location. Sometimes you get less. Sometimes you get more. And I think this was one of the harder farm location scenarios. I mean, I haven't seen any raiders attacking us. But hey, sometimes you can also get a few waves of raiders attacking you. So, I'm going to wait now for all the savage giants to arrive here. Here go. Here they are. Now I'm gonna make them loop around. Here we go, let's go like this, like this, like this, like this. And then let's sprint to that blue box. I should have probably gotten rid of the shotgun. Oh no, there's also a bull attacking me. Doesn't matter, the bull is pretty slow. See, I should have probably gotten rid of this shotgun because the shotgun makes you run a bit slower. I'm pretty certain any other gun will make you run faster. And it looks like we've gotten that tactical backpack, eh, that thing. We're gonna get it later. We've gotten a blood, blood, what? Blood spiller. I don't need it. Let's get this another armor or whatever survivor notes. We can read that and this for the aluminum thing. Okay, here we go. Here are the enemies. So I'm going to once again loop them and then I want to loot that barn. As inside of that barn, sometimes you can get some good stuff. Oh my goodness, I survived. Could have died there, could have died there. But hey, we survived. Everything was calculated. Once again, that wasn't my fault. I just tried to show you that, hey, it's still possible to survive if you get punched by two savage giants. So everything was done on purpose. Everything was calculated. Smash the like. And we're going to run back to the very top. And uh, I want to open up that chopper here. I want to see if there's anything useful here. Let's go, let's go. We still have two extra slots over here. So let's go. Let's take some things like chopper gas tank and gasoline and the chopper engine for one aluminum bar or whatever. Let's get that. Maybe there's something else here that I haven't taken. I think we've taken kind of everything besides that engine part. And check this out. Just by clearing this farm location, we have also leveled up in the supply crate. So soon we will be able to get this katana. We just need 300 extra points. And hey, check this out. I've also realized that we've gotten three copper bars. If I'm not mistaken, we've probably gotten them from that farm location. So that's not bad. That's like, what, three steel? And already in this free-to-play can we have 11 copper bars. So yeah, maybe copper isn't that hard to get. You can clear a farm location to get copper. I guess that's not bad. I never really looked at the farm location like that. All right, guys. So welcome to the Blackport PD. I've taken here with me 48 of those brown cards. And we're going to open up here some loot. But I'd love to say sorry for the frozen camera. I have no idea for how long it was frozen. Hopefully it wasn't frozen for a long time. Otherwise, that's going to be very, very sad. But we have 48 of those cards. So we could exchange all of them for green i mean i could exchange 20 right here i'm gonna exchange 20 brown for two green and the rest are gonna be brown yeah i think that's gonna be all right Th that's what i want to do because these brown cards aren't that bad so let's open up you know what three three brown three green three green sorry we're gonna open up three green here go let's exchange one more and the fourth card is gonna be a brown card let's go let's open that up and how many more items do i need to assemble another terminal okay so we need more bolts some of those high-tech components and one more electronic circuit that we already have at the base and some transistors which hey we probably can get all those items relatively easily but hey now let's open up those weapon crates inside of the first weapon crate we've got an a skull crusher and here we have a lightweight magazine for our glock which i don't think it's a good mod but a whatever here, this is the second mod, small ammo, which we don't have on the shotgun. Let's get this mod. We've also gotten another box, and inside of this box, we've gotten a Glock, which is pretty cool. Check this out, another gun. Here, we've got a muzzle break for our Uzi. Let's go, let's learn this mod. And we have one more box to open up here. We've gotten another pipe. This is so awesome. And here, we've gotten a free first aid kit. 
and a hockey stick. So let's try to bring all of this loot now back to the base. And look at that. We have gotten my favorite rest stop event, except I'm out of fuel. But I have some fuel here in the chopper. So let's fill up the chopper and let's go to that rest stop event. Oh, and also another thing that I forgot to mention is that apparently we have three tactical backpacks in the inbox. I don't have a slightest clue how on earth we have here three tactical backpacks in this free to play account. I know that we have one tactical backpack here already with us and we're only like what level 77 we have one tactical backpack that we've gotten from previous season passes but where on earth i've gotten three other tactical backpacks i have no idea we've gotten one tactical backpack today from the season pass i know that we've gotten one more tactical backpack from some whatever other event but i don't know where we've gotten a third tactical backpack there in the inbox i have no idea it doesn't matter all i know is that we're quickly gonna deal here with these survivors and the other guy started shooting me well, I'll pop him first, hopefully, because I can heal up and those schmuck survivors can't. All right, here we can get that aluminum. From this guy, we can get another backpack. Thank you, but we don't need this. And another backpack. Thank you, but we don't need this. So we have some spare tactical backpacks, so now we can die. And you know what? That's not going to be a problem. We'll have an extra backpack in our inbox. Because I've heard lots of stories, you know, people are going to unlock their tactical backpack. Then they die farming, like, in a green zone or in a red zone. Because, like, the big one's going to spawn or something. Or they're going to auto farm, you know, they're going to let their character go on auto. And they look away from their screen for a couple of seconds and boom, then they die. And that's how people have lost their tactical backpack. So it's always nice to have an extra tactical backpack. Because I do know that with the time, we're also going to lose this backpack. Everything comes to an end. I've lost some tactical backpacks on my main account, so I don't see why I wouldn't lose any tactical backpacks here. Even though maybe here I'm a bit more careful. Oh, we've also gotten a weapon crate, which we're going to open up very, very soon. First of all, I want to get all the loot. Go on, loot, loot faster before these zombies spawn in. Before they come back here. Let's get these rubber parts. Here go one more chopper. Let's open this up. We've gotten a sawblade mace. Ain't that bad. I can steal. Oh, no, I didn't take empty bottles. So I got to go back to the chopper and get those empty bottles. All right, here go. Let's get these 20 empty bottles. I'm also going to drop here a stack of first aid kits. And we can run back to that chopper. And check this out. Now we can steal the gasoline. Let's get these three bottles. And let's get a few bottles from this chopper. And just like that, we're going to get 10 bottles of gasoline, as you always get around 10 bottles of gasoline per gas station, uh, per chopper event. So you know what? This chopper event gets Ike's approval. A really amazing place. And you know who else gets Ike's approval? You, because I'm certain you've subscribed and smashed the like button on this video. Mm -hmm. So hey, let's suggest you checking out my scum survival let's play. Click here on the second card and you'll go to my The Forest VR let's play. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump us subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yeah